going on guys welcome back to the channel so i would like to say that today is a pretty massive day for call of duty black ops 4 it's a pretty massive update probably the biggest update that the game's had since it launched okay so they've done updates and changes literally everywhere like zombies all the issues that people were having with zombies those were apparently fixed or at least they attempted to fix them in this patch so that should run a lot more smoothly for zombie players then when you go to multiplayer there's a bunch of weapon balancing like smgs they're finally buffed a bunch of other just fine tuning and bug fixes that were pretty much irritating players have now been fixed obviously when these things get fixed other things pop up and then that's why they keep passing Catching the game and you know the cycle continues another exciting thing is that nuketown is finally in the game okay so we will be bringing you a video on that next uh but the thing that i'm really excited about and i'm, I'm probably just going to bring a video on this where i'm going to focus this video on that particular feature is because this game took extremely long to copy the files into the game so i'm pretty sure by now at this time not a lot of people have access to the item shop but the same token i'm pretty sure there's a lot of you guys that are probably in school and just want to see what the item shop is like and that is pretty much blackjack's item shop okay so right here there's a new daily tier skip so it's awarded for your first win in multiplayer or first merit earned in blackout so you can skip a tier don't really know exactly how that works because again i still haven't played blackout since the game came out and i had so much fun with it i don't know why i'm just i'm literally tripping balls over here over my overall my own decisions if we go here to the black market you obviously have your contraband you have your special orders and you have finally the blackjack shop this is the first time i see this and it looks a lot like Fortnite. <laughs> I mean, featured items, daily items, it's literally identical. But it doesn't matter. I'm not I'm not laughing at that. I mean, there's a lot of people in a lot of games that copy a lot of things from Call of Duty. So it's completely okay. I don't give a crap. I think it's great. Featured items, daily items. Featured items are going to be resetting every four days as you can see right here and the daily items will be daily now i don't know if the featured items will be resetting depending on the rarity like for instance this is a legendary maybe if it's an epic it'll be longer i don't know but uh four days seems like a lot for it to be this oh so these things actually have different oh this is interesting okay so each individual I'm hoping when you buy this, oh yeah, it is a bundle. So it comes with three things. Well, it's not that bad. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I like this. So I know I said it was three days. It seems like a lot. But to be honest, if you really think about it, Call of Duty is not used to bringing so many consistent updates or, or, or you know, just cosmetics or anything like that. They're used to doing this every four months or so. So this is a huge step up in their behalf. So this is good stuff. We're going to buy everything here. I'm just going to buy it. And, uh... Let's see what, what this is all about. So the Bone Crusher bundle, it's going to be a legendary bundle for uh, Ruin. And then you can have the bundle outfits include the decal and the war paint. I'm assuming the war paint is uh, is the basically the face paint. And then you have the decal, which is this. So if I go to purchase, let's see what happens here. Okay, so this pops up, which is pretty much the... I think I have 5,000 COD points here. All right, so I just bought the COD points. Hopefully they... Um, they refresh there we go all right so 5100 so i'm gonna buy this and see what happens okay purchase nice purchased see what i like about this in comparison to the contrabands is that for instance you go here and if you want to purchase this you literally only purchase the right to be able to do the the challenges which is kind of dumb and this you just purchase it and you get everything that is here included I like that a lot. I think that's really cool. I still don't know why we have Halloween Dia de los Muertos type of skins. I'm assuming this is probably just a little bit delayed. Probably after the next update, after four days, we may be having a little bit more of a, you know, different types of skin probably towards the upcoming holidays, like maybe Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatnot. But uh, right now, we're still kind of like in October, it feels like. So I'm going to go to the Angelita bundle. And again, it comes with the, the specialist outfit and the war paint, which is the... Um, Mortal Steam again, the face paint for this little bundle, and then the decal. So we're gonna buy that. Okay. I actually like these, by the way. You know, like I'm saying, like, you know, we're still stuck in Halloween, but these are really, really cool. Halloween skins have always just been cool. And this is uh, a baller. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, I'll buy it. Why not? Then we have a battery outfit which is uh it's called gold and it's pretty much just the outfit it actually looks pretty sweet dude like 
not gonna lie. I like the way the light hits it and it changes. The brightness of the of the outfit is pretty cool. I'll buy that one. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We have a metallic outfit for our buddy old pal Crash. It's called metallic because again, it's it's pretty much kind of like the gold from Battery. Because if you see the outfit is kind of metallic, you depending on the lighting. So I'll buy it just for shits and giggles. And then we got the last and final. Necronaut, which is, uh, I believe that's a tag. Yeah, shared tag can be equipped by any character. A set piece is uh, zero of a five. So if I buy one, do I have to buy the other one after? No. So it does have a set. This is one out of five. The other ones, I don't know. They'll probably come out later on in the item shop or blackjack shop or maybe just as you play, there's separate challenges. I don't know, but that is pretty much the blackjack market. This is blackjack's shop. This is what it looks like. My opinions. You guys, please let me know in the comments, thoughts, opinions. What do you think? But here's what I think. I think that this is fine. I, I, I think this is fine. But here's my issue. Call of Duty is not a game where you benefit from buying skins. It really isn't. It's not a, it's, it's not a game where you benefit from having a different outfit on a character. Because you don't even see the skin. You don't see the outfit. All you see is from like your elbows to your to your hands. That is the only thing you see in Call of Duty. So the only things that you really benefit from in Call of Duty is the weapon that you're using and the weapon camo. So honestly, if you want to have all these things here, just put them in the contraband. Like just put them in the tiers. I think, or maybe even in special orders, I really think that the featured items and, and the daily items should be for things that you actually get to enjoy, like weapon camos and different weapons. Even, even if they're updated once a week, it doesn't matter. Once a week is a whole lot better than once every four months. Now, I'm not saying that you can have outfits for different characters here, but I'm just saying uh, do not like bombard the entire item shop or blackjack shop with just outfits that I'm not even going to be able to look at. These are things that you're buying, but you don't even benefit. If you're being honest, you don't at all. Because again, this is a first person shooter. So you could probably have a couple outfits, but at least have one weapon, one weapon variant or one weapon skin, something here. Every time this thing refreshes or every other time, something along those lines, because if not, it's, is it really worth it to you as a player? I don't know. I mean, you can probably see your skin when you do like an emote or or a gesture better yet or or maybe a tag. You can kind of see your third person perspective of your of your character. But that's pretty much it. You don't really get to enjoy it much. That's my opinion. I do enjoy the fact that we have a shop now. Um, again, I think this is probably a little bit backed up. I I want to say that we will probably be getting weapons and weapon camels. I really just think this is like an early stage of Blackjack's shop. If I'm being honest, again, don't call me on that, but uh, that is a shop. I definitely think that all those types of items should definitely be like in contraband. I mean, it's just too many skins, too many outfits. Like, I'm just not going to see this. So nonetheless, pretty freaking cool. I'm happy the shop is here. I hope to see great things from this. That's just some constructive criticism. Honestly, I'm not like bashing on it. I think that this is a great addition to Call of Duty in general. Uh, but I'd like to see things that we kind of enjoy more, you know, so let me know what you think You guys can feel free to speak your mind um, This is pretty much just an a and b conversation here You can also start a conversation with each other and let me know what you think um, And and what would you do to the shop in order to improve it for the player because uh, I, I would have easily spent those 3,000 cod points. I just spent on a weapon instead of all of these you know outfits and I only did it because I wanted you guys to see what happens and you know, just pretty much everything how it works. Because I know not everybody out there can, you know, purchase all of these things. So, anyways, that's it. That is the item shop for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Let me know your thoughts, opinions. Do you like it? Do you not? Is it too much skins? Do you think we should have weapons added into here? Weapon skins? Or should that stay in contraband? Thanks for watching. Got some Nuketown gameplay coming up later after this video. And as always, catch you later. So, this is the Bone Crusher. It looks pretty solid. You already know how this is gonna go down. Yo, the man can ball up. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the tag. You let me know.